So when we're trying to correct a head back dystocia in a cow, there are a few very important things to remember. One is that it's maybe one of the most difficult type of dystocias to correct. If you have a, a simple flexion of the neck with the head not very far away from you, then those can be quite simple to correct. But many times because of the delay in getting to the dystocia and, correct, and trying to correct it, the calf has been forcefully pushed very far into the birth canal by the uterine and abdominal contractions. And what that does is that typically takes the head very, very, very far away from us. So as you can see here, as we have our student trying to correct this dystocia, they will present um, their arm into the birth canal, identify that it is a head back, that they have two front limbs and no head positioned where it should be. So as this student searches for the head, they may actually go in as far as they could possibly go and not be able to identify the head, only palpate the neck of this calf. In those situations where the head is so far away, it is, becomes one of the most difficult dystocias to correct. So in those cases, what we try to do is actually pull the calf into the birth canal a little bit closer to you, as close as we can to give us a little bit of an advantage. And now, as our student proceeds forward, they then can identify that they have an ear, they have a pole to this calf, and maybe even a bony orbit where the eye is located. The critical thing to remember about correcting this dystocia is that you're eventually going to have to gain advantage by locating something that you can actually grasp or hang on to and stabilize the control of the head. Um, again, with the calf being very lubricated and the birth canal very lubricated, the two most common places that we try to identify would be the bony orbit of the eye or the commissure of the mouth in these calves with their heads back. So what will happen is once you identify one of those two points, you will try to get a grip on it or a grasp of it. And then once you have your hand hooked in there, so you use your fingers to like as a hook and you identify that and you hook into the mouth of this calf, then you are pretty much in control. And then you can start to correct this malposition that you have in this situation. You're not going to damage the calf, even if it's a live delivery and the calf is still alive. You're not going to damage this calf by putting a lot of force on the commissure of the mouth. Or if you elect to use the bony orbit of the eye, you can actually use it as a, a really nice place to hang on to without causing any damage to the eye or the calf's bony orbit or the eyelids. So what we have here is we have a nice grip on the commissure of the mouth. That gives us control of the head. And now what we must do is take the head and bring it into its normal position. This can be difficult because just for demonstration, what you cannot do is basically swing the head all the way around like this and expect for it to land into the birth canal. It will constantly not work that way. So you have to do a couple of things. So once we have control of this head, we have to also, once we have control, we have to also push the calf back and away from that side there. And as you do that, you are trying to change places with the shoulders of this calf. And sometimes, if we stop right there, you will end up with the calf's head a bit upside down. You have to take a break right now. We have to breathe mm -hmm. and rest and give everybody a chance to recover because that would have taken a lot of work to correct the calf's head to this position here. Once you have the calf's head in this position, you may not use the commissure of the mouth anymore. You may actually extend your hand in and actually go over the face of the calf's head. And what we're going to try to do is just rotate now the calf's head up, sliding it along the uterus and into the birth canal, placing the calf's head between the front legs of this cow. 
putting it in the right presentation, posture, and position for a more normal delivery.